Okay, hi everyone. Couple things I want to talk about today. First off, um, I think I mentioned in my last video, Dr. Hutchins auditioned to be Leah in England. Well, I read on a website recently that um, Melissa Lohenberg, I don't know what her last name is, but she put out a statement or something saying that Leah isn't even in the script for New Moon. So, fingers crossed that come Eclipse, we're never heard of the Moon next. Because, I'll shoot my brains out. No, I won't. Metaphorically, I will shoot my brains out. Anyway, next topic of discussion is yesterday, for the, I just watched 13 for the first time, and my dog will not shut up. So if you hear dogs barking in the background, I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm not redoing this again. <sighs> 13 is a movie with Evan Rachel Wood and Nikki Reed. And it's about this teenage girl, Tracy, which is Evan Rachel Wood's character. And she's like, this girl, you know, she does some work, she has her friends, they're all doing the right thing. Yeah. Then there's this cool chick. She be easy, which is Nikki Reed. She be easy. Anyway, so <laughs> Tracy starts hanging out with Evie, and Evie's all into like drugs and sex and partying and all that good stuff. Stuff in this life. Just you know, okay, joking. And any people who want to sit there and comment, like, oh my god, you're such a horrible role model. I don't care. I never said I don't care. Anyway, so it's a really, really good movie, and I didn't know that Nick Reed like, wrote half the script. So that really impressed me, and I think it's like also based on her life story or something. So after seeing it, I really, I just love Nick Reed even more now. I liked her before, but yeah, she's just like a whole level of coolness now. I like, I want to be her. I think she's my new role model. Anyway, <laughs> so yeah, thirteen. Most of the movie is on YouTube. I think the channel I was watching it from, part 7 wasn't up. I don't think it's anywhere on YouTube besides the movie on it. So, there's like 10 minutes of it missing. And, I mean, I guess you kind of need to see it. But, I don't know. I didn't, and I kind of understood the rest of the movie after that. But, yeah. So, rent it. Watch on YouTube. If you've seen it, tell me what you thought about it. Because it's one of my favorite movies now. Alright, another thing. Last night on Showtime was the premiere of The United States of Terra, the second season of Secret Diaries of Call Girl, and the final season of The L Word. I watched all of those. Now, The L Word, I've, I've never, like, watched a complete season. I've seen, like, a bunch of episodes, but I never, like, sat down and, like, watched them, like, weekly. But I'm gonna do it this season. And I'm slightly confused just because I haven't been really with all the seasons and shit. But I plan on renting them. So, yeah. And last night's episode was. I, I liked it. I understood it. I understood most of it. I don't, I can't, I don't even think I'm going to put it in there because I just can't think of it. But I watched most of last season. So, I think. Yeah, so I got most of it. Um, also, at the second season premiere of Secret Life of the Call Girl, I I think I actually watched the full first season weekly. I think I may have missed a couple episodes. But I I so last night's episode, dude. <laughs> I'm really bad at like describing movies. I'm like, oh, this is good because, or this could have been better with this. But I'm like, I just say it's good or bad. And then you just take my word on it. And then I watched, well, not then, because this came on first, whatever. United States of Terra. That's the show about mom with the multiple personalities and everything. <laughs> Woohoo! That show is the shit. That show is the shit. And I cannot wait to watch more of it, because oh my god. That was amazing. I liked the whole, yeah, I don't know, I just liked it. I said, but, okay, the mom, Tara, has a sister, like, Charmaine, 
or something. I don't know. But she's like, I totally got the vibe of her like hitting on the husband. So like, if you watched the show last night, please tell me you got that vibe too, because I was like, oh my god, you're hitting on your kid. That is so wrong. You whore, get away. Just saying. Uh, <laughs> so yes, those are definitely sh- um a new show to get into. United States of Terra. And I guess the L word you probably shouldn't get into now because it's probably too late. But Steve Dies of the Call Girls, you only missed one season, so go and watch that and get into that show too because it's pretty cool. It's about, if you don't know what it's about, it's about this um, English call girl and how she leaves her double lives. She's Hannah, but when she's working as a hooker or as a call girl, she is Belle. And it's her and it's like it's an English show, which I love, because they're just shot differently than American stuff. And I don't know why, but they just are, and I think it's better. So that's that. Oh, Ricky Gervais is gonna be on Inside the Actor Studio. I don't know when, but I plan on watching it. One Tree Hill's on tonight. Can't wait for that. And that's it. So leave comments below on any of the topics I talked about, or just call. I don't know. I should